Located in the South Pacific Ocean, Fiji is an archipelago and a nation often referred to as India's pivot of the Pacific. Although the nation appears to be a distant dot on the globe past Australia, major trade routes pass through the region, which makes the nation and its surroundings crucial from a geostrategic perspective. However, Fiji has been in the news for all sorts of wrong reasons, and here is another story of subordination of Hindus. Hi and welcome to TFI Post. I'm your host Savita Mishra. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. If you're watching us on Facebook, do like, share, and follow the page. Let's begin with the video report. Fiji, a tiny country in the South Pacific Ocean, has a sizable Hindu population for which credit can certainly be given to the British colonists. The Indo-Fijian Hindus were initially brought to the island to work on sugarcane plantations. Between 1879 and 1916, the British transported over 60,000 Indians to the islands in order to benefit from the cheap labor as by then slavery had been abolished in Britain and its colonies. At the present time, the population in Fiji can be divided into two broad categories. Aitoke, the indigenous population who make up 56% and the Indo-Fijian who constitute 37.5% of the population. As per reports, most Indo-Fijians still practice Hinduism. 27.9% of the total population and 76% of the Indian community. And there is a threat looming over these Hindus. Why do the Tripathi Brahmins of Mirjapur eat mudan with such gluttony? Was Ramadeer Singh really a crook? There are many such questions, but answer will be found only in one place. TFI Entertainment Channel. Click here to subscribe. See you there. Despite the Indo-Fijian community's contribution to nation building, their persecution has not stopped. Rather, it has seen an increase with the backing of economy minister Ayaz Saeed Khayyum, the one accused of having close ties with Pakistan's ISI, the probable reason behind the ongoing persecution of Hindus. Reports suggest that Khayyum used NADRA, the National Database Authority of Pakistan, to conduct the 2018 election and ensure the victory of Frank Baini Marama. It was after the victory that Baini Marama gave a free hand to Khayyum and Khayyum turned all his attention towards the Hindu community. It has been emphasized that following this, not only did temple attacks become more frequent, but Hindu intellectuals were routinely picked up by the police and harassed using fake cases. Further, the island nation has recently signed a MOU with Pakistan, which led to the constitution of Pakistan Fiji Business Council. Khayyum's introduction of a park-based NADRA is not his only sin. He has also been accused of appointing Muslims to keep positions in the Reserve Bank, Broadcasting, Financial Intelligence Units and Election Supervisor, among others. For the unversed, Muslims contribute just 6% of the population and their appointments are disproportionate to the population. The ones being appointed by the Khayyum force have been accused of facilitating the unceremonious ouster of Hindus from powerful positions. So now you tell me what is going on in Fiji. Hindus are being sacked from the positions. Muslims are being stuffed into positions of power. Languages are being changed and the Indic roots are being severed and there is an increase in proximity with Pakistan. All that is happening in Fiji can be summed up as the Islamization of Hindu-majority Fiji. 